Wet Noses Pet Sitting, and we are a pet sitting and dog walking company in Northern Colorado. And I'm here today with Dr. Alicia from Tails Animal Chiropractic Care. And so as part of our pet care tip series, we are talking about different things to do with pets. And do you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I am the animal chiropractor. I'm a human chiropractor that's certified in animal chiropractic. Uh, I've been in practice for about seven years now. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just, it's been amazing. So uh, we work with dogs to help them to reduce pain, improve mobility, and then also improve performance. Mm -hmm. And it's just been amazing work. Uh, these dogs are feeling better, moving better, um, performing better, and then of course just having Having less pain and, sure. and stiffness and soreness. And it's fantastic because yeah. I think a lot of people don't even know that chiropractic for animals right. is an option. Yeah, it's a kind of a newer professional, although it's been around forever. Mm -hmm. um, the horse racing industry has always used chiropractors because sure. um, it just increases performance. Um, but more and more uh, animal chiropractors are practicing. Mm -hmm. A lot of vets are also becoming animal chiropractors. And so this uh, therapy is being um, more and more uh, widely accessible for people. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So what do you believe is the one thing that all pet lovers should know? So I want people to know, especially with older dogs, just how much we can improve quality of life with uh, physical modalities and body work. Mm -hmm. So whether that's chiropractic care, acupuncture, physical therapy, massage therapy, these things make a huge difference for older dogs. So not only are they living longer, mm -hmm. they're living happier quality of life, improved quality of life, more playing, um, just able to be themselves for a lot longer. That's um, fantastic. Yeah, so it's really big for that kind of group. So how does somebody go about getting set up for these types of things if they were interested? Yeah, so uh, it's as easy as a phone call and setting up an appointment. Mm -hmm. uh, many times I'm asked, like, how do I know if my dog needs an adjustment? Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, especially if you've got an older dog, they do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there are little things to look out for. Um, you can watch them sit. Um, mm -hmm. If they tend to kick out to one side or kick a leg out, that can indicate back, hip, or knee pain. Mm -hmm. um, we do what's called cookie stretches. So you can take a treat and have have the dog follow to each shoulder and if mm -hmm. you see they have trouble with that range of motion that can indicate cervical restriction okay and then the other little trick is sometimes you can run their your fingers along their spine and if you ever see their spine their muscles start to twitch okay. um, it can be a sign that there's something going on there they're having some pain response muscle tightness okay. um, spasm things like that so does then somebody contact you directly? Do they go through their vet and then get like a referral? Yeah, or? yep. So you can do either if you think that it's like a veterinary issue. We always want to make sure that, mm -hmm. that, that it's not um, a vet-related problem. So you can see your vet and make sure, see if it's just kind of a, a musculoskeletal problem is what mm -hmm. we call. Uh, but then, yeah, you can just call me directly and make an appointment. Mm -hmm. Do work with various vets in Northern Colorado. So we'll usually couple acupuncture and chiropractic or physical therapy and chiropractic together because that integrated approach just like in people tends to work mm -hmm. so much better uh, but yeah you can just book an appointment and and then we can get started we evaluate um, as long as there's no reason why we don't want to adjust we adjust that same day mm -hmm. um, and what's really cute is they love it so I get asked all the time like how do you adjust dogs and it's simple like many times they just run and lay down on the little mat and mm -hmm. they love it it feels really good um, they know that it helps them mm -hmm. and so it's very pain-free it's not um, difficult at all they usually just can't wait to get their treatment <laughs> that's exciting yeah that's so cute super fun I think they learn what feels good for them after like the first couple times but they yeah. do yeah the first adjustment they're always are kind of like well why you know mm -hmm. like it's a little interesting she's like turning my neck <laughs> um, but then the next adjustment they're they're in love because they know it helps them feel better and that's yeah fun. usually they can't wait to get into the building which is so great like a, what a compliment you know yeah absolutely yeah. normally animals don't like going into a, any sort of veterinary situation exactly yeah so. no so it's really great to see them kind of excited to get here yeah that's yeah. exciting well that's wonderful um so how can people get in contact with you yeah so you can either call me uh directly mm -hmm. um and then, or uh, via the website has my email and contact information. Okay. Uh, and I'll have all this information in the comments yeah. and the notes and stuff. So you guys Perfect. can take a look at all of that. Yeah. Yep. So that's usually the best way and we can get your dog scheduled and kind of see if there's any way that we can help them feel better, move better, um, and just have a happier life. 
That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you. It was so nice it. to chat with you today. I appreciate you too. it.